What's shaking, everybody? It's your boy, King of the Golden State, coming at you with another episode of the Wednesday Pile. That's right, it's another episode of the Wednesday Pile. Another week, another episode of the Wednesday Pile. Not brought to you in part by anybody, but I did get myself, for starters, a new Spider-Man uh, figure, which I saw in my uh, LCS. Ooh, shaky. Um, and I saw it at the cash register, so I was like, you know what? Impulse buy, pick it up. It's really cool. It's, it's a it's a Kotobukiya, uh Spider Man st uh, statue. Really cool. And uh, of course, got the uh, circle, which I really dig. So, got that. And I was only got a discount from that too. So, got that along with all the cop with all the copies of books I got from the you know from my LCS. And without further ado. Got this one here. It's that lenticular cover of uh, Superman, Superman in Action Comics. And that is The Oz Effect Part 1. Um, I'm a little behind on Action Comics. I just love the cover. Uh, especially a lenticular cover. It's really cool. I mean, I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but it just, you know, changes from here, from Hope to Oz. And it's really cool looking. So I got the, that one. Also got the regular cover, which is just plain old... You know, Superman with hope. Makes you wonder if there's an Oz one. I think it might be. I, I'm not sure. I may have overlooked it. But this is, you know, either one are pretty cool. So, you know, I'm digging this, how they're handling Superman in the Rebirth era right now. So, I don't know. Uh, how much longer are they going to go with Rebirth? The idea of Rebirth. I mean, they've been doing this for about a, about a year. And I'm not sure how much longer they have this thing go on for. But, got that. More Rebirth stuff. Picked up Supergirl, the art, another Art Germ cover. Which, don't get me wrong, Art Germ's good, but I don't know what's so special about, what else is special about it. So, um, besides the fact it's just an Art Germ cover. But uh, other than that, I like it. It's really cool. You know, it's a pretty kick-ass looking cover, but other than that, what else has it got going for it is my question. Uh, also got this one. This one was staring at me in the face. Uh, they're rebooting Runaways, so Runaways number one, and um, I love this series. It was a really good series back then, so I mean, I don't know why it took so long to actually come out with another series of this, maybe because there's a show coming around and they're trying to make money off the show by promoting some of the comic books, so people who weren't familiar with the show can get familiar with the comic book now, but, you know, Marvel's weird. Marvel could get pretty stupid sometimes, but yeah. Uh, they're rebooting this, and it's uh, Runaways number one's back. So we'll see how that long that lasts. Um, this I got for free, and I'm going to see if I can find a better copy of it. I got it from my LCS for free because, you know, the shipment he got was kind of jacked. Like, uh, the best uh, the best um, generations, all new Wolverine and Wolverine, and it's a second printing. But it's, as you can see here, it's got some printing issues here are shipping issues of what crap that happened and it's a really cool second printing i gotta find a better copy of it because i'm really not pleased with this i mean it's good to have as a reader's copy but you know i like the cover it's a really cool cover so that one i picked up and uh also um always a quick plug i always do this because i'm always happy that they come out on time young blood number five yeah i know it's like a, it's for me it's like an inside joke to myself um, surprising five months in a row they actually have young blood out on time blows my mind so that was real quick um, also the Harley Quinn 25th anniversary special that came out and it's got a Terry Dotson cover also picked up the Jim Lee cover and uh, Jim Jim Lee kills it man I, I mean I, I I see that you know I see that he's trying to push the uh, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn I mean, I don't know. That was probably the best thing about that Suicide Squad movie was was probably Harlequin, and they really didn't need her to be, like, you know, in the Suicide Squad, but whatever. I mean, this is really, you know, these these covers are really cool. I like the uh, I like the Dodson cover, and I like the Jim Lee cover. Either one could pass as a variant, as a variant cover, in my opinion. So, pick those up. Got to get that out of read. Man, four ninety nine. dollars Jesus. Man, they, they didn't even bother putting Rebirth on this one, either. They are like, screw it. And they probably didn't bother putting Rebirth on this one either. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. This thing's already messed up. I gotta take this one back. 
or just not. Maybe I'll just have somebody shoot it. Uh, Dark Knights, Metal. Um, not sure how long this is going for, but, uh, you know, I can't resist Jim Lee artwork, man. That sounds like a fire truck. If you hear a fire truck in the background, good for you. You get the Marvel No Prize. Um, yeah, so, uh, can't resist a good old Jim Lee cover. Especially when it's Dark Knight's Metal. And so I picked that up. Um, also, this one got on a discount. And I don't know how much... I mean, this guy's like Tupac, for crying out loud. Every single time there's something that comes out that we claim is like something that was unreleased. But I got a variant cover of Secret Empire Omega. It's a Michael Turner cover. Um, I don't know where they lifted this picture from. Because there can't be any more michael turner stuff left i mean the guy's been dead for a long time and if they say oh yeah this is like you know unreleased material and stuff he just sketched we just colored it that's bullshit at some t at this point i'm starting to call bullshit so i like the cover i've never seen it i'll i mean unless it's unless i overlooked it on, on another michael turner cover that they decided to crop out and focus on and say yeah michael turner did it of course he did it but you guys are re probably reproducing it Marvel's weird like that. A little shady, but weird. Um, True Believers, number one, The Eternals. I already have the original copy of this. I just like getting a $1 copy. If I kind of feel good, you know, going on buying a $1 comic book, you know, especially when it, ha you know, especially when it has some heft to it, you know, like a Jack Kirby, you know, edition. And for a dollar, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the Eternals, number one, True Believers, number one. I don't like, a lot of these True Believers only say number one. I don't know why they don't have a different number, but it always says number one. But, uh, yeah, When Gods Walked to Earth, the Eternals for a dollar. So I got that. Now this one, the reason why I've delayed my, um, my Wednesday pile until now is because I was looking for this one. And this one was a pain in the ass to find for the last day. And, uh. This one is being hard to find right now in the comic shops. Realm, number one. Uh, cover A on the left, cover B on the right. Um, I don't know anything about it. Hell, I didn't have a chance to get to know anything about it because it sold out so fast. Um, people are looking at comic shops, like different comic shops, trying to find it. Um, I'm not very familiar on what it's about, but uh, back when I was telling you guys, pr pretty much you guys already know, if it's an image number one book, I'm picking it up. Um, I didn't get a chance to pick this up. This thing came out so fast that people swooped up on it. So, uh, this is like your hot book basically right now. Cause, uh, there's some comic shops that are having a hard time keeping this on the shelf. And I don't, I, it hasn't been on the shelf long enough for me to know what the hell it's about. I still don't know. All I know is a cover A on the left, cover B on the right. And a lot of comic shops have sold out on this. So if you, Get a chance. Go ahead and pick this up. Um, along with another one called Retcon, number one. Um, this one, I'm not very familiar with what it's about, but this one's getting swooped up pretty fast itself. So apparently the uh, image number one first issue title waves are starting to pick up. So if you guys uh, see this at your comic shop, yeah, be sure to pick it up because pretty much everybody else is. But that's it, guys. Uh, I got nothing else. Please... Give it a thumbs up, you know, because you know you like this. Also, you know, please please leave a comment down below. Also, you know, feel free to subscribe. Hopefully that's not asking for too much. But that's what I do is I provide if you subscribe. All right? I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.